Um, can, can you tell Lily I, I had to go? I gotta split. I can't get out of this thing. I'm holding it. Wait, are you leaving? We're saying goodbye to the apartment. The whole gang has to be here. The gang? Do you know who the gang is to me, Lily? The gang is a married couple who I never see anymore about to have their third kid. It's my ex-husband, and it's the guy I probably should have ended up with, with the beautiful mother of his child. This is all just over then? Our whole friendship is just over? There's, there's so much wonderful stuff happening in all of our lives right now. It's like more than enough to be grateful for. But the five of us hanging out at McLaren's, being young and stupid, it's just not one of those things. I gotta go. I mean, come on. Yeah, of course she showed up. What mother is gonna miss her daughter's wedding? Okay. No. Come on. It's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm not asking you to be happy about it. I'm just asking you to support it. Look, I want to, Lily, okay? I really do. But I just can't. Why not? Because you're scaring the hell out of me. That's why not. What if you decide to go be a painter and then you realize I don't fit into your life anymore and three months becomes forever? Can you promise me that that's not going to happen? Marshall. Because if you can't promise me that we should just break up right now, I'm not going to wait around for three months just to have my heart ripped out. Marshall, I love you. Can you promise me that that's not going to happen? Pause. No, Lily, we cannot pause this anymore. Can you promise me that that's not going to happen? Pause. Why do you want me to pause? As I rode home the next morning, the city looked the same. The people looked the same. It all looked the same. But it wasn't. In just one night, everything had changed. Look, I know there was a time when it seemed like I was capable of going the distance, but if it wasn't going to happen with Robin, then it's just not going to happen with anyone. I am never going to be a guy who meets a girl, and from the first time I see her, I'm just like, you are the love of my life. Everything I have and everything I am is yours forever. Really? No, I'm just making a point. Move it along. This is Ellie. You are the love of my life. Everything I have and everything I am is yours. <laughs> Forever. Why do you need to know so bad? So I can cheer you up. It's not your job to cheer me up. Yes, it is. Cheering you up is my job. It's not your job to cheer me up. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Merry Christmas, Ted. Damn it. You don't want to tell me what's wrong? Fine. I don't need to know. You can never stop me from trying to cheer you up. It's back to life. You're just going to have to deal with it. Ted, hold on, I... hold on. This is the best part. Kids, your Aunt Robin never became a pole vaulter, but she did become a famous journalist, a successful businesswoman, a world traveler. But there's one thing your Aunt Robin never was. She was never alone. Look around, Ted. You're all alone. But none of those things is the thing I do first. You know the thing I do first. Hi. I'm Ted Mosby. And exactly 45 days from now, you and I are going to meet. And we're going to fall in love. And we're going to get married. And we're going to have two kids. And we're going to love them and each other so much. All that is 45 days away. But I'm here now, I guess, because I want those extra 45 days. With you, I want each one of them, because I love you. I'm always going to love you till the end of my days and beyond. See? 
After we dock, let's each do what we have to do, and then meet up at McLaren's at midnight, and talk about us. When you meet the right person, you know it. You can't stop thinking about them. They're your best friend. And your soulmate. You can't wait to spend the rest of your life with them. You will always be... Was this a one-time thing? Can you tell me it didn't mean anything? No. Hey, how's it going? Uh, not great. Nora and I broke up. I don't really feel like getting into it, but I think the worst part is over. Hey, hey. Hey, Kev. What's up, Kev? How's it going? Sometimes a single second can last a lifetime. For Barney, the second that would never end was this one. Um, I should go. Tough night. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's not. My dad was my hero. And he was my teacher. And he was my best friend. He always came through for me. And now he's just gone. Now, what am I left with? <laughs> Thanks a lot, God. Thank you. You took my father, the greatest man that I have ever known, and you whipped him off this earth way too young. And he'll never get to meet our kids, Lily. How is this fair? And what are we left with? Marshall? Oh, looks like I've been calling you for almost five minutes. <laughs> anyway, your mom and I had such a great time seeing you. I love you. Looks like your dad came through one last time. I love you. My father's last words to me are, I love you. Why? Well, JJ started it. What does JJ even stand for anyway? J jerky jerk face? <laughs> JJ stands for Jerome Jr. Jerome Jr. Oh. He's, he's named after you. Excuse me. What is going on? This is mine. I don't understand. JJ gets a childhood, a dad, a real family, and a basketball hoop? No, no. I at least get the hoop talk. To me. Why? Why should I? You're lame, okay? You're just some lame suburban dad. Why does that make you so mad? Because if you were gonna be some lame suburban dad, why couldn't you have been that for me? Look, if you ever feel like you're ready, I'd love nothing more than to be a part of your life. Hey, Ted. Yeah, buddy? You, uh, still want a basketball hoop out there? You were right. A kid needs a hoop. Sometimes I wish I wasn't a mom. Sometimes I want to pack a bag and leave in the middle of the night and not come back. Seriously, kids, never invite an ex to your wedding. Hi, Max. It's me. That I have been holding myself back from falling in love again. And I think it's because I can't let you go. Would it be okay if I moved on? I guess this is it. For real this time. Hi, Max. You're here! Oh my god! I love you so much! Can you believe it? Marshall! Something's happened. Um, your father, he had a heart attack. He didn't make it. My dad's dead? Uh, 
I'm not ready for this. 